<laughs> hey, what's going on, everybody? Movie Phantom here, and it's Wednesday, and this is the time I get you guys' uh, questions and various comments and whatnot, so let me jump right into that, shall I? Uh, Warren, or sorry, Warren Cocking, a uh, little bro from across the pond, asked, uh, What is my favorite movie, or sorry, favorite uh, horror movie quote? Uh, man, I gotta say, it's the Devil's Rejects, the, uh, you know, Boy, the next words out of your mouth better be some brilliant Mark Twain shit. Because it's definitely getting, you know, chilled on your fucking tombstone or something like that. It's something, you know, been a while since I've seen it. But yeah, that's, you know, I love that, that right there. So, uh, favorite Rob Zombie film? Devil's Rejects. Boom. Right there. It literally is just like one of the best movies ever. Like, I put that up there on my top 10 of all time. Like, it is literally just fucking awesome. Like, I don't know, just something about it. Just, it clicks. It just, it all works. Um, in fact, it's funny, uh, me and a uh, man with no name were talking earlier, and, uh, you know, he, we, we talked about how, like, he, I, we kind of got to give him the credit for kind of bringing that grindhouse look back, because, I mean, I know there were a few people that did it, you know, and I'm sure maybe it is, like, one of, like, you know, great mind think alike type thing, but he was, like, the first one to do it, like, you know, he kind of brought this whole, like, 1970s exploitation, you know, look back to, you know, modern day cinema. And put after him, the Alexandra Aja, uh, yeah, I can never pronounce that his name. He did it, you know, and everybody started following. But you gotta say, it was definitely Rob Zombie first. And I don't know, I just love the look of the film. I love the story. Just, I don't know, it's great. And finally, he asked, what was my favorite superhero movie? Bam's got an itch right here, sorry. Uh, I'm not huge on superhero movies, uh, just not my bag. But I love Batman. Like, I'm just a huge Batman fan. So, uh,. We all know it's like a typical horror movie cop out right there. Like, well, Batman's the exception. Well, it is the exception because everybody else sucks. Um, and my favorite Batman movie is The Dark Knight. And I hate to, you know, I know it's so cliche to say, but I'm sorry, dude. Heath Ledger fucking stole the show. Oh, dude, his Joker is the best. Like, it literally was. So, I mean, yeah, I know, it, that movie to me is just fucking awesome. I mean, ah, brilliant. Just brilliant. So, so there you go, man. Thank you very much. Um, uh, so I was, you know, talking about uh, Poltergeist last week. It opened up over the weekend, and whatnot. And uh, Torture Vision, you know, mentioned he goes, he's just waiting for them to kind of talk about because you know the, the original trilogy, you know, is called the Poltergeist Curse. You know, a lot of bad things happen to people. People have died, accidents have happened, whatnot. He said he's just kind of waiting for the producer to try to cash in on that and talk about how you know they were affected by the Poltergeist Curse. I say it's already happened with uh, shitty reviews and poor box office returns. Fuck you, Poltergeist. Oh, sorry. Um, I'm so happy. You had no idea. Like, I know it's ridiculous because even when they bombed, they have made more money than I will ever see in my lifetime. But, you know, from on this side of the camera, on this side of the TV, on this side of the, you know, the movie screen, to see a big guy like that fall, just to see, you know, Poltergeist, a new line, fucking plummet a little bit, I'm okay with that. I'm happy. It makes me happy. It brings a little joy to my little dark, black, bitter heart. So, um... This next comment, okay, I was talking about uh, one of the uh, trivia things I was dropping the other day was uh, Dreamcatcher. And uh, Colleen Pose, Posey, cause I, I was talking about how, um, you know, they, 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 they uh, referenced the kids grew up in Derry, which is the same town that uh, the kids from It grew up in. And, uh, of course, uh, Danny Ward mentioned that, you know, he showed me the quote and everything, but I guess they actually referenced, you know, It, you know, in Derry. Like Pennywise or whatnot in a Dreamcatcher. Well, uh, Colleen Posey threw out, uh, and her the exact quote is Derry and uh, Cobot, Cobot, I think how you pronounce it, Cobot, Cobot, Cove are both in Maine. It must uh, be all the timber. That's all she wrote. I don't get the reference. Maybe I, I, I never read Dreamcatcher. I read it, loved it, but I didn't uh, read Dreamcatcher. So, no idea what that means, uh, Colleen, but uh, thank you, though. Hey, I, I'm, I'm grateful people are just commenting on my shit anyway, so believe me, it, it, it made the show, so thank you very much. Uh, we also got a shrink wrap slasher, and uh, he just hit me up, first time I ever uh, heard from this guy, and he just said he digs my style. Thank you, man, appreciate that. Uh, means a lot, means a lot. Uh, last week we jumped in on this uh, genre files uh, video, me and Maya both did, and uh, where basically it, uh, Gray... I forget his name. 1951 and Forkerball, and each did these um, thing. They you know show their favorite action film or whatever, and just do or they, they showed a, a random action movie a piece, and they just kind of did a uh, 
little review on it. So you know, they invited everybody to jump in, and I thought you know it looked like fun because you know once again, I mean, and, and, even though my heart is always going to be in horror, I, if you guys see the collection, I mean, I, I got a very wide you know taste of things. So I really you know I love watching films in general, like not just horror. So I wanted to jump in on because it gave me a chance to kind of you know review you know other stuff. And uh, yeah, uh, great 1951. You know, he said that. Um, he goes, great video. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And want to let me know that next week's video, or this week's, as it turns out, uh, will be adventure. So, and I got my movie picked out for that, my man. So, uh, Forkerball uh, said he was glad I jumped aboard on this. And uh, it's a great job. Thank you very much. And then finally, DVD Collector uh, 1974 said I did a great job as well. So, guys, thank you very much. I, I appreciate the praise. It means a lot. Thank you. Uh, this morning, I was talking about uh, The Fog. Or it was the other day? I can't remember. The other day I was talking about the fog and uh, Ricky Shore, uh, which uh, I forget the couple's name. It's a husband and wife team that do uh, movies on here. Ricky Shore sings is the name of the channel. Uh, hilarious shit. If you haven't had a chance to check these guys out, it is funny stuff. It's just weird little irrelevant films. Like each video is like kind of. I mean, they all kind of tell a story, I guess, together. But for the most part, there is like a little three-minute little you know video. But they're hilarious. But anyways. Um, yeah, just start commenting on my stuff and uh, talk about how The Fog was one of his favorite films and everything else. So that's awesome. Thank you very much. And finally, I got some questions from uh, Ghostface Kid 101. Uh, first, he asked, uh, "What's my favorite horror sequel?" And that is kind of you know, this kind of ties back. I gotta say, uh, Devil's Rejects. I mean, it literally is just phenomenal. Um, yeah, I, I, I gotta go all-time favorite sequel. It's that one. I would say it's that. Um, what horror environment would I live in without the horror? And what he means, like, you know, would I stay at Camp Crystal Lake without Michael, or without uh, Jason Voorhees? Uh, I would like to live in a universe where you can control your dreams and you're very aware that you're having a dream. Uh, so I guess uh, the world of uh, Nightmare on Elm Street without Freddy, because if I can become a dream master, oh, dude, it's going to be awesome. Like, like, life would be more bearable if I could just escape to my dreams at night and do weird shit so I didn't blame me it's gonna get weird it's gonna get fucking weird but hey that's the kind of world I'm living in so uh, yeah I'll say no on the street and finally uh, my favorite memory from high school man I did not like school <laughs> I, I gotta say in all honesty whenever I you know this question came up uh, the first thing that popped in my mind um, we got okay I don't Fuck it, I'll drop the I'll drop the, the name of the tunnel. Uh, around the area, it's not necessarily in, in the town I'm at, but there is neighboring towns. Um, there's a tunnel. It's a old uh, train tunnel uh, called Tunnelton Tunnel. And um, anyways, urban legends for years. You know, it's it's haunted and whatnot. You know. And, even then, I mean, I believe in, like, you know, in high school, I probably was more like, I believe in ghosts and blah, blah, blah. I think I was probably still, I think I was getting more agnostic in that, you know, in high school. I was definitely re or leaning toward, you know, being agnostic or whatever. But uh, I, I think I was probably, you know, believing in ghosts or whatever, but I think I was getting pretty close to where I was like, eh, I'm not buying it. And uh, anyways, a uh, bunch of buddies went out there to uh, the Tunnels and Tunnel and literally, you know, we dare to go across or whatever and, you know, run through it. Videotape and all that stuff, and of course it was the old days, so I mean it's like an old school VHS fucking thing. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't think I have the camera still, but uh, made it across, no problem, you know. And just, it was just kind of a pain because you had to wait for everybody to come through individually. Like it was just, uh, it was definitely more of a, a hassle. But when you're that young, you don't really care, you know, you're just having fun in the moment. Uh, but that wasn't even the cool part. The cool part was, so, it's a train tunnel, I mean it's a very fucking huge fucking tunnel. Um, we're all going to to the top of it. And of course, when it, the tunnel comes out, like after the tunnels, you know, there's like a, there's like a little rock slide, like a, or yeah, like a, 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 there's a rock kind of hill there. And then you climb up the tunnel. Well, it's, it's been raining that day. And so I go up, I'm probably like the second one to go up there. And I'm climbing up and we're all up there. And one of them, I can't, there's like, there's four of us all together and one of them decide not to go. But then we go up to the top and it was just slick as shit. And I remember distinctly because, you know, once we're on top of the tunnel, we're, we're trying to get across, you know, to the other side. Like, you know, here's the fucking tunnel, like the ledge here. 
And there was like a, like there's just nothing but overgrowth, like on top of here. So there's a tree, just right dab right there, and like this big branch sticking out. And we tried to cross that. Now, logically, you would just probably cut behind the tunnel, like, you know, go on top of the tunnel, go around this tree. But some reason, we're just a bunch of dumb kids. So we were trying to, like, literally go around the branch, like, do this awkward ass, like, let's step around this branch on this slick ledge. And, like, it's fucking high as shit. And I remember even looking down, because I've never been afraid of heights ever. Uh, but I remember looking down and thinking to myself for that split second, like, holy shit, if I fall, I'm dead. Like, that's how high this thing was, right? And I was down there, it was like rocks and train tracks. So I was just like, oh, we'd be fucked. Yeah, so anyways, uh, yeah, uh, climbed around and we all, you know, made it okay. There's no tragedy to the end story. It was just a, a fun day hanging out with your friends and shit. Uh, but we skipped school to do that. So that was kind of the, um, that's why you were late to you know, high school. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, as far as school goes, my, my whole mentality was just keep my head down and power forward because I did not like school at all. And, Probably should have paid attention a little bit more, and I wouldn't be, you know, living the dream at a shitty furniture factory. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so that's for all you kids out there. Pay attention. It, you know, it, it gets a lot worse, believe me. So, uh, but yeah, that's probably my favorite memory from high school. So, all right, guys. I want to thank everybody who uh, commented and asked the questions and this, that, and the other. Once again, means a lot. Uh, remember, throughout the week, anytime you guys, you know, leave any comments on any of my videos, it will usually wind up here. And if I don't, if it doesn't, or, you know, if I get too many, I will reply back to you, you know, regardless. Uh, of course, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. Don't matter how uh, crazy or insane or ridiculous or non-horror related, whatever. I'm, I'm down for anything. Uh, got any questions for any of my uh, guests, former guests, whatever, hey, hit them up. They'll be glad to answer your questions. And if they're not here, they'll answer through me. Uh, yeah, comments, questions, hate mail. Uh, if you're tired of hearing me run my fat ass mouth on here, hey, let me know. I'm okay with that. You won't hurt my feelings. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, hate mail, love mail, whatever you guys got. Hey, I'm the movie Phantom, and 